Hellion Turbo Systems just totally changed the game. All right, guys. Jake Teaser here with the latest Mustang Automotive news. If you're not up to date, yesterday Hellion released the Street Sleeper Twin Turbo Kit for an astonishing base price, $6,395. That means everyone who previously bought a Pro Charger for $6,500 can now get a twin turbo kit for the Mustang for the exact same price. Uh, some people pay more than that even for their, their centrifugal superchargers. Anyone that bought a Roush kit can now get a twin turbo kit. Uh, this is cheaper than a Whipple obviously also. So this is a game changer for the Mustang guys. Um, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'm going to keep you updated with the latest Mustang and automotive news. Okay, guys, so what's the deal with the kit? It's $6,400. You can upgrade the turbos. You can get ball bearing turbos. You can get it blacked out. The turbos bolt on to the bottom of the, of the engine. Um, they're not too low. They're out of the way. Um, and then it looks like you don't have anything done to the engine. So possibly it could help with smog, but also, you know, some people just like the way it looks like that. Now, what I want to do is bolt one of these onto a 2018 Mustang GT that's got the active valve exhaust and leave that stock exhaust on there and just drive that dude like that with a 10-speed auto. You can have a totally quiet car. No one will ever know that you've got twin turbos on your car. You open up the exhaust, make more power, let those turbos spool up quicker. And, um, I mean, this is literally going to change the game because so many more people are going to buy this kit. Previously, the kits were like 10 grand. Nobody wants to spend 10 grand on a twin turbo kit when they just spent 30 grand. I mean, it's a third of the price of the vehicle. So, essentially, you're going to be seeing so many. <coughs> essentially, you're going to be seeing so many more twin turbo Mustangs on the street. So watch out, Chevy boys. Um, you don't know what these guys are packing anymore. So. Let's check out the video real quick. I'm working on a new project here. We've got a, uh, a new Hellion system for the S550. This one, uh, this one's on a 2017. It's a little bit different than our uh, our top mount kit that you know we've uh, had a lot of success with. This new kit is actually hidden. It's called the Street Sleeper. So. Check this out. You're going to love this. All right, guys, that is the turbo kit. Now, I mean, why is this important? Well, you know, you can get a twin turbo kit now on your Mustang for the price of the, the Pro Charger, you know? I mean, you can still go to Beefcake and, and order a, um, you can still go to Beefcake and you can still order like the Vortec kit or the Paxton kit, and it'll still be cheaper than 6,400, but not by much. It might be $1,000 cheaper, right? And if you're already spending five grand, and you want a twin turbo kit? I would say go for it, man. This is a great. This is. I mean, you can adjust. This is. This is flexible. You can adjust the, the boost up to 20, 40. This says forty pounds of boost, so you need an engine that will hold that and the fuel system. But it's it's great time to be a Mustang lover, and um, this is the first time that the kits have been this affordable. And one of the reasons why they made this kit so affordable was. I read on below that they use a F-150 header on one of the sides of the engine, you know, and that is what makes that kit fit. So I'm assuming they send that to you with the kit, um, and then I believe you use the factory header on the other side. So, you know, basically you might get a little bit more lag from this kit because the turbos have to pump the air back into the engine from underneath the engine they're not directly on top of the intake you know how they were before before they were right in front where that um the coolant box is the ugly coolant box they were right there um so you know i'm not sure that it makes them that much more laggy though because if you actually look at the dynagraph that they show you right here 
Um, the car is making power. Let's look right here. The car is making power. Peak, uh, peak torque at like 4,300 RPMs. And it's making over four or 500 torque at 3,500 RPMs. And it's, it boost comes in and you're getting max, almost max power at 4,000 RPMs, max torque at 4,000 RPMs. So you're making good power, you're still making good power down low. So anyways, that's part of um, twin turbocharging is you're gonna have some lag and then it's gonna come in all at once. Say if this was 20 pounds of boost, right around 4,000 RPMs, it would just go way up. You'd have a huge spike. Now, if it was a centrifugal um, supercharger, obviously it's not. It's gonna make more linear power. It's gonna be like a straight line. But with boost, as soon as that boost comes in, you get a kind of a sharp rise. Um, but since this car is only running, I think they said nine pounds of boost, then you're not gonna get a huge spike right there. It's just gonna kind of come in and then flatten out. And you can see how flat that torque curve is. Once it hits this line right here, it essentially stays up there almost to 6,000 RPMs and slowly tapers off. But that's your, your horsepower stays all the way up there to 7,000. So that means that those turbos are efficient. The piping size and the intercooler are all matched up for it and it's making good power. Now you can check out uh, more of the details on their website, Hellion Turbo. Um, these will fit the 2018s, like I said. I think it would be super cool to have one of these kits, sleeper kits on 2018, like a convertible with the active valve exhaust and you literally just um, bolt this dude on and, and go and nobody even knows. You can start it up in quiet mode, no one knows and um, when you're ready to rock and roll, put it on track mode and open the exhaust up and allow those turbos and it would go great with the 10-speed uh, automatic because even though those turbos are a little bit larger, they're 62s instead of the 55s. Now you can get the 55s right here. You're gonna pay a little bit more. You can get 55 ball bearings. Would I pay $2,300 when the kit's you know extra for, for the ball bearing turbos? No, I would just pay 64, keep that, and I'd get a 10-speed auto uh, car. And that way, you're always gonna be in the rev range that you wanna be anyway. So peak torque at 4,000, the new Coyotes. Um, red line at 75 so you've got plenty of rpms and with that 10 speed it keeps it in the power band anyways so i think this is going to be a great option for the 2018 guys um, it's affordable and um, i'm very curious to see how many more people are going to be ordering these kits over a pro charger right or over a roush supercharger over a whipple even so and then I also want to see the track times for this. Um, so you can get the blackout kit if you want to blackout. You can get the screamer option for the compressors, which allows you to hear the turbo spool a little bit better. Um, you can change the injectors. You can change. You can custom tune. They have all these other options too: boost gauge, boost controllers, all this stuff. So go to HellionPowerSystems.com. Check it out. Uh, 2000 horsepower capable such a cool thing that they've done I'm glad that they did this this is gonna make you're gonna see so many more twin turbo Mustangs on the road if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button like hit the like button you're gonna be seeing a lot more twin turbo Mustangs so watch out Chevy guys watch out Z06s and Hellcats and demons the Mustangs are coming for you uh, at an affordable price so thanks for watching guys as you can tell Car Gurus knows what vehicles I've been clicking on, and this would be a great way to have 700 wheel horsepower car for relatively cheap. Um, this is this is the used car prices for the 2018 Mustangs. So here is a 2018 Premium automatic with the performance package. It's got 1,700 miles on it. They're offering it for 38,000, which means you could probably get them down to about 35 or so and uh, at least 36 and these cars run 11s out of the box anyways you could spend $6,400 on that twin turbo kit maybe another thousand or so to get someone to install it for you if you don't do the work yourself and you've got a very fast car um, for under 50 grand 
more like 45 and it's brand new so anyways what would you guys do would you guys go with this twin turbo kit would you go with the pro charger would you go with a roush or would you go with the whipple what would you do let me know in the comment section thanks for watching guys have a great day